All right. Hello and welcome. This is uh, Doyle Bueller. And uh, today I'm going to be talking about the digital expedition that we're going to be going through uh, starting tomorrow and just checking out systems that our systems are all good to go. And I also want to give a quick little overview of what's going on and uh, how things are moving forward from there. So just again, making sure that I've got all my tech in order, which sometimes it is a little bit complicated. And I'm actually just going to be going live on LinkedIn as well for the first time. And it's actually giving me a restriction here. So I'll have to test that out. It says frame rate 30, 30 frames per second maximum. And apparently I'm only at 29 frames per second. <laughs> so you can never get it just right. So hopefully it's working. If not, um, we'll have to see how that actually goes forward. So anyway, I want to talk to you about the digital expedition and I've got a great web class coming up tomorrow. And I'm going to be going through the 10 base camps that businesses need to be able to understand how to create that clarity, certainty, and competency amongst all this chaos, right? And as we know, there's a lot of that right now. So just kind of really how to organize uh, what you do and how you do things and that sort of thing. So um, it's going to be about an hour long and um, it, it really comes down to fundamentally understanding, I guess, what's important for a business and how can you actually use these pieces as well. Um, there was uh, part of an organization that I'm part of called the Grace One Guild, and they asked for a point of views of, you know, what's happening now with COVID and the economy and that sort of thing. And, and when I really started to think about it, it really became clear that there's a lot of um, stuff that we, systems that aren't really working, right, with digital, and, and it seemed to be quite a problem. And, and if you sort of look at how can you actually put these pieces together, what you need to be able to do with them and how you can actually um, move forward. A lot of businesses don't really have sort of that, that learning that those steps in, in play and, and understanding exactly sort of what system you need or how to actually put it in place as well. So um, it's just, it was a matter of how do we actually organize things, these things. And, and if you take a look at, you know, what's going on with, you know, previous expeditions of the past. And it really came to highlight that digital is difficult. Let's be completely brutally honest, right? Some of the data that I'm going to show you actually shows that where it's, it's, we're still the penetration of companies who are, you know, transforming into digital. Digital has been around for 25 plus years. We're only about like 30%. And that was during a surge um, over the last, you know, four to six months type thing where businesses have been forced to do that. But we're still like a third of businesses still haven't really kind of put in, put their story together. Um, and why? Well, because it's difficult, because it's a challenge, right? It's not easy. And it's something that really needs to, to be able to, to work properly and you need to be able to set it up and, and really understand how these pieces put together are put together as well. It doesn't mean you need to be a digital um, expert, a guru or whatever the case you want to call it. What it means is that you sort of have to build those skills to become what I call a digital leader, right? Being able to know what you need and what you don't need and how things work and how the pieces fit together. You can get anybody to help you, right? Expertise is, is it's out there. There's a lot of, it's a huge access to the resources to be able to implement it. But there seems to be a lack of how do we actually put these pieces in place? How do we actually get it to work? And again, that was, that was one of the challenges you know, back in the day where, you know, they were exploring the, the Canadian Arctic or Antarctica or flying across the Atlantic Ocean for the first time or whatever the case may be. And the, the, the expeditions that, you know, had were, made it there and made it back and whatever the case may be, those are what, were the ones that were prepared. Those were the ones who had spent some time planning. Those were the ones, you know, who kind of really started to understand uh, the problem and the scenario um, that they were in. And once they had that plan, then they're able to actually execute that plan. But if you look at today's day and age, like there's a lot of businesses that you know, they still don't quite have a plan. And that's what I want to help overcome is how do we actually plan it out? How do we break it down so that it's, it's really quite important um, to be able to understand all these different pieces as well. So I'm just going to quickly show you a few things, a few highlights um, come tomorrow. So... Just go there. And one of the things of, again, of the businesses or rather the expeditions of old, like, um, you know, the Hillary Exp expedition up Mount Everest, um, you know, and all these ones, what they really did was define how it was that they were actually able to get there. 
and they had a very clear they had a clear objective a clear idea they had a you know a clear team they had a clear you know list of tools and understandings and that sort of thing that was really really important but the point is it's september where are you going from here and if you sort of been waiting to see there's there's a lot that i'm going to show you that you know what now is the time to be able to move forward so this is the um um the actual digital expedition planner worksheet that um uh, I'll be actually giving a few of these away as well as, as the big printed copy. And this is like, this is like a massive <laughs> design. <laughs> it's pretty big. A1. I don't know what that converts to in, in feet or inches. Um, but uh, the paper sizes here in Australia are actually pretty easy to understand. So that's the biggest you can, well, you can print actually A0s and blah, 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 and B, and then goes into B series. But anyways, I digress. Um, the point is, is that I'm going to go through these 10 base camps that actually show you how to understand, how to develop that plan. And if you look at, you know, step number eight, that's where we actually build what I call as your flight plan. And it's put together by the pieces from all these different steps along the way. So sense making, inflection and economy, signals and strategy, digital transformation, fear, learning, growth, defining the digital expedition and delivering it through the, what I call the digital amps approach, the audience method process and story approach. And then that's where you're able to build your flight plan. It gives a foundation. It allows you to be able to work forward. It's not just kind of guessing. It's not just seeing what might work and what doesn't work, because if we look at it and there's a lot more, I'm going to go into the, some of the, the stats as well and show you exactly what's happening in the economy as well and where you can actually go but I maybe I just stop quickly on this. This is quite exciting and quite interesting. There's a little bit of a delay between the iPad and the Zoom. So this little blip here, that's this, five years growth in three months. So for the companies who have sort of started to understand that, they're the ones that have made that, that, that growth of five years in three months, which is honestly unbelievable. Some of it's obviously been by the fact that, you know, there's certain things that people want to buy, but this is retail in general online. So will this continue to be a blip or will this actually be something fundamental that uh, uh, businesses are able to grab onto? And again, do they stick with it? Do they adapt or do they, you know, um, disappear like the dinosaurs? <laughs> and that metaphor is certainly big now. So it's going to be something that's super, super important. Um, so in terms of the actual uh, expedition, we really kind of need to look at, you know, what if we're starting here right now, and I'll see if I can draw a stick man. Um, the obstacle is digital. Let's, let's be completely honest, right? It's huge. And if you look at it, what does it look like? It looks like a bloody mountain. So there's a lot that we don't understand. There's a lot of different pieces there that, you know, really can, can we fit it together? Do we know, know where we need to go? The, the, the interesting thing is that to get here on the peak of the mountain, falling off the other side, we actually have our mountain of value. And, and this is stuff that you're already sitting on. It's, 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 it's your assets, it's your ecosystem, it's the parts and pieces and strategies and tactics that you know what, a lot of it is there. It's just a matter of how do you actually organize it? How do you, how do you develop it? How do you understand what it is that you need to do and, and uh, put forward as well? So this really, it, it's already there, but yet we see it and it's like, oh my God, there's a huge activity to get up here. And then there's a huge activity to kind of continue on. Where do we want to go? I call it the digital promised land, right? We've all heard and seen and um, understood that there is, there is a place, let me be clear, there is a place where, again, once you understand the concepts, once you're able to integrate those into your business specifically, that's where you can get to. And, and like I, I like to say, we, you know, you can shine the light <laughs> in the digital darkness uh, as well, which is something that you'll be able to do once you have... Um, once you've developed your digital expedition plan as well, because that's where the value comes from. And a lot of people, this can be considered as HE hockey stick, hockey stick kind of thing as well. So we want to get you up this mountain of value and there's steps to get you there, right? There's steps at the top. And then guess what? 
getting up to the top is only half the journey. You still have to continue on. And just because you're going down a mountain doesn't mean you're accomplishing less. It doesn't mean that you have to do anything less or anything more. It means you really still need to understand uh, the pieces that are in place as well. So these are the 10 base camps that we go through as well. And these are integrated again into this whole process. And, and some of them are just understanding. It's like, oh yeah, okay, I need to take sort of account of that. I need to really put that in place. And some of them are, if I go back to the, the, um, the sheet, uh, some of them can be very specific as well. So I'm going to be able to go, you know, show you how to get into some of the detail of this as well and develop this process, which is really, really key. Um, because the systems aren't necessarily working, it's sometimes because we don't actually know what those pieces are. And fundamentally, you can see this shift of some amazing businesses that are actually seeing sort of this, uh, the chaos and uncertainty, and they're able to actually harness that through digital delivery, digital experience, and value creation that's, that's really second to none and, fu and fundamental and remarkable as well, so that people really get the point really, really quickly. They understand that this is a unique digital experience that you're able to offer. It can't necessarily all be, you know, Cirque du Soleil kind of stuff, because we know that those are, you know, specific live events that you would go to and watch and that sort of thing. But there's a huge ecosystem that you can build around sort of, you know, a Cirque du Soleil concept or whatever the case may be. So don't feel that, you know, if you don't have something of dramatic value that you don't really have, you won't be able to survive, you won't be able to evolve. These are all the parts that we need to go through and just understanding what it is that's key here is certainly where we can move forward. So we wanna look at how can we get to the point of certainty, the point of clarity, clarity, clarity rather, and the point of competency. How, well, again, going through these 10 base camps because that then gives us the ability to be able to decide when, right? When are we going up this mountain? How are we going up this mountain? How are we creating this expedition? that is actually able to help my business. And then this, your flight plan. And I've got a lot of metaphors. If you're into airplanes or whatever, I've got a lot of aviation type um, metaphors and stories to tell as well, because that's sort of my background from many, many years ago. But we wanna create a, a flight plan that says, this is where this is the direction that we need to go. And then you can set up some experiments. You can understand where it is that you are. You can really sort of decide what it is that, where you wanna go and how you wanna get there as well. So really excited about this. I'd really love to, to have you out and join in on um, the webinar as well. Let's just get the URL. There we go. So if you go to bit.ly slash digital expedition nine, it is lowercase, please register for the webinar. We're going to go, I'm going to go through again, those 10 base camps, the worksheet. If you don't have the worksheet, please feel free to get in touch with me now. Just uh, put a comment in the comment box or send me a message or email or whatever. And happy to send you that uh, a worksheet as well that you can either print out or use on your laptop or whatever iPad or, or tab tablet or whatever the case may be. So it's a great tool to be able to follow along. So again, if you don't have the worksheet, the planner, please let me know in the comments and uh, I will send one over to you as well as we get into that. So I've also got a few gifts as well to give away. Uh, I got a couple of books, uh, Breakthrough, which sort of bases on sort of developing that those concepts. And there's some obviously some different concepts too in that. But again, it builds your foundation and, and that's, that's super important because we need to be able to develop that foundation because out of a strong foundation, that's when we can then build up and go up the mountain, reach our apex, and then continue on our journey as well. So I'm going to show you those 10 base camps. Um, it's going to be an exciting journey. Really hope that you can join me. If you do have any questions in the in the um, in the meantime, please just leave a, a message or a comments in your in on the video as well. Um, oh yeah, so I'm going to give some gifts away, a couple of books, and I'm also going to send you send a couple. People will get a full size full-size copy, an A A1 sheet, full-size copy uh, to be able to work as well. And I'll send that in the post also. So looking forward to seeing everybody there. If you, um, uh, if you did enjoy this sort of preview, then please like and share and would be love to hear from you and love to see you register as well. Go to bit.ly slash digital expedition number nine or just nine. Cool. So thank you very much. Appreciate your time.
if you've got any questions, um, yeah, please get in touch and we will see you online. We'll see you tomorrow.